One child on the way. Two kids already came. Three months behind on rent. Four dollars to my name. It's like I threw a five. Life through a six. I wake up round seven. By eight I hit the strip. Nine on my side as I grind on the web. Ten in the clip. Eleven with one in the head. Twelve other niggas on the block doing dirt. Even kids as young as 13 moving work. I got 14 days till eviction. I'm cooking up 15 grams in my kitchen. I got around 16 years on these streets. 17 states I done crossed just to eat. And met around 18 niggas that done died or in jail. With 19 or better still fighting the appeal. So for the 20th time I'm through. And I'm serious, cause I know what to do. I'ma hit them with the one to the two. Two to the three, Mike to the check. A to the Z, L-O-R-D-I-K-I-M. Now you tell me, who's fucking with him? It's Lenny! Oh, you we lit, lit box. When I'm turned up, it go down. You know how I get, you know how I get. You know I'm legit, you know I'm legit. You know I be lit, you know I be lit. And I'm on a mission to hit every city. When you see me get with me, it's Lenny! Lit box TV. It's lit! Hey, yo. Um, welcome to Lit box TV. I'm Lord Akim. And today we're going to um, get into that uh, child support video. But before we get into that, I just want to go over a few things that's been on my mind. Um, um, I just want to touch on a few topics as well. That's um, For certain reasons, though, I don't really want to touch on, I don't really like to talk uh, celebrity gossip or, or just trending, them little stupid trending topics. But when I feel like there's a... Uh, uh, when I could show y'all something, then I'll talk about it. Like when we can learn something from that, it's and it's like the Derek Jackson. He's he's a bozo to me. Okay, Derek, that dude Derek Jackson. He's always been a bozo to me. I'm not even gonna get into what everybody know what the situation is, but I'm explaining to you why he's a bozo to me. Derek Jackson uh, put men down in the name of standing up for women or teaching women how to stand up for themselves. He put men down in the name of trying to get women to stand up for themselves or trying to teach women or I don't know what he was trying to do. But my point is, you know, I always say, you don't have to put people down to stand up for yourself. I used to always tell my baby mother that, like, you want to leave, just leave. You don't got to put me down. You don't got to make me into the bad guy if you don't, just because you don't want to be with me no more. Just, just leave. You don't got to put me down. You don't have to put people down. Black people, you do not have to put white people down to stand up for yourself. Ladies, you don't have to put men down to stand up for yourself. Men, you don't have to put females down to stand up for yourself and be a man. Okay? So... That's just all I wanted to say about that situation. That's just why I never liked him, okay? And um, I got a system for everybody watching. This is for my people uh, watching. Uh, I got a little jewel for y'all. This is how you know if you with the right person or you making the right decisions, right? Females, let's start with the ladies first. Ladies, this is how you know if you're with the right man. Right now, I'm going I'm going to give y'all my test and you do this test and once you do this test, you accept the results. You don't you don't make up excuses for the for the results, for the answer. You answer, you ask yourself a question, you answer the question and then you respect the answer and and respond accordingly. Okay, so ladies, this is how you know if the man you with right now is the man for you. If your daughter had a man that's exactly the way your man is, that treat her exactly the way your man treats you, right? That make her feel exactly the way your man makes you feel, okay? Would you be happy for her? Would you be happy for your daughter if she had the exact same man that you have? Would you tell your daughter to leave that man if you would tell your daughter to leave that man, then you need to leave that man. Because if he's not good enough for your daughter, he's not good enough for you. And it's the same thing with fellas. 
you just ask yourself that question. You know, if if your son, if you had a son, if you have a son, and his female, his woman, deals with him exactly the way your woman deals with you, would you be happy for him? Or would you tell him to leave her? Because that's your answer right there. And this is how you know if you're a good person. This is how you know if you're a good person. Ladies, right now, if your son came home with a woman that looked at men exactly the way you looked at men, that treated men exactly the way you treated men, that treated him exactly the way you treat your man, would you be happy for him? Would you be like, oh, you got a good one? If not, then maybe you need to reevaluate yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know you a good person, okay? You know for a fact that you're a good person when you're willing to accept exactly who you are for your children. Like, fellas, if your daughter met a, met, a, met a man and he was exactly like you, he treated women exactly the way you treated women, would you be happy for your daughter? You wouldn't be happy for your daughter, then that means you're not a good guy. <laughs> and you need to reevaluate that situation. But now, let's get on to this. Uh, I see that uh, this uh, activist got an endorsement from Cadillac. Cadillac would never sponsor black a black power movement, so we know that's not what she's about. Cadillac would never, ever sponsor Malcolm X. Cadillac would never, ever sponsor Marcus Garvey. Cadillac would never, ever sponsor Nat Turner. That's just not what they do. They don't get involved that deep, okay? But they will sponsor some separation. They will sponsor some women's rights movement which is a whole nother story, you know. Like, can you imagine Harriet Tubman starting the, uh, the, the woman's freedom movement and saying, yo, like, ah, right, yeah, I know we in this together, but um, I'm only going to do my best to try to free these women because you niggas ain't shit. That's pretty much what she's saying. She's she's acting like, you know, the 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 black man is not a part of the struggle. Like now she's, you know, I told you she was all about the woman's, the sexism, the the, you know, the woman's rights and all of that. She's not about black empowerment. That woman is not about black empowerment. Okay, Cadillac don't sponsor that. Cadillac don't sponsor black empowerment. They would not give, uh, Colin Kaepernick a deal. Okay. She's not out here fighting for uh, injustice for black people as a whole. She she attacks these little situations, but she's not fighting for us as a whole. That's not her, her whole stance. Black injustice is injustice from the hands of the police, but not injustice from the welfare system. It's not injustice from the, the, criminal, the, the criminal justice system as a whole. It's not injustice from the child support system. It's not injustice from the banking system. It's not injustice from the real estate and mortgage system. Like, it's not injustice from, like, a lot of things, like, that we get fairly untreated for. They don't fight for that. They don't fight for that. But she's going to promote this, this, this separation. This, this, oh, we got to empower females. And let me tell you something. There are scientists. They have the best scientists that money can buy. They study us, okay? They study us. They study male, female behavior and they know it's in the female's nature to want to get taken care of. I don't care how much money Oprah Winfrey got, okay? It's in her nature. If she's a female and given to her female nature, her feminine femininity, then it's in her nature to want to be taken care of. Okay? So they know that. Okay? So now they know it's in the female's nature to want to take uh want to be taken care of, and it's in the man's nature to want to be a provider. So if I stop you from being a provider, 
by denying you jobs, denying you stuff, unless you're, you know, you, you walking around a certain type of way, you know, or you are, you're a female. I'm just going to deny you opportunities, real opportunities, okay? So I'm going to, let's back it up first. I'm going to throw drugs in your community, and then I'm going to put the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess up the community to where the men can't really help you the way they used to because they all strung out now, okay? And then I'm, you're going to run the welfare, and I'm going to tell you if you want my help, you got to get rid of that man. Does that sound like someone trying to help you? Just imagine this. Just imagine you have a kid with a man, and you and that man, y'all good together. Y'all ain't living the best life, but y'all good together. Y'all love each other, and y'all trying to raise y'all family to the best of y'all ability. Just say y'all have two kids, right? And a three and a five-year-old, and you know, six years down the line, y'all falling on hard times. And the female calls her father up who has money and says, hey, dad, me and, uh, me and Laura fell on hard times. <clears throat> Do you think you can help us? And your, your father goes, yeah, I can help you, but you got to get rid of Lord I can. He can't be there no more. And then I'll help you. But meanwhile, I never did anything to you. We don't have any problems. We're not in an abusive relationship. We just fell on hard times financially. Okay, so it's tough for both of us financially. So you go to your father and he tells you, I'll help you. But in order for me to help you, you got to get rid of Lord our Kim. Do you really think your father is really trying to help you or break up your family? Why does someone who never did anything to you have to leave in order for him to help? Why can't the man be there in order for welfare to help? Because it's designed to destroy your family. Okay, that's what welfare is designed for. It's designed to rip apart families. On one end, you, 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 you're giving someone something and, you, and you're making them lazy, and you're making them dependent. And you, I mean, you got women out here on welfare who never worked a day in their life talking about, I did it on my own. I, I, ain't nobody never did nothing for me. What are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So it turns, it, it makes you almost feel like you don't need a man. They put, they, they, they put it out to, to make you feel like you don't even need a man. As long as you got welfare in the government, you don't need a man. You know, and this is what this Mallory chick promotes. She promotes separation. Oh, we don't need men and, and, and women empowerment. Like if black men was ever trying to put black women down, that's never been our thing. Every time the black man fought for freedom, the black woman was right there on his side. He was fighting for her as well. It was never no black man's freedoms march as far as black men are concerned. Okay? So... You know, y'all got to pay attention to what's really going on. You know, she's trying to separate uh, black woman issues from black men issues. And she's getting paid to do that. Okay? They, they're paying her to do that. You know? And, like, you got to learn how to peep the games. Okay? Like, let me put you on, the, like, some game real quick. For, uh, for all my 40 olds people, people in my age bracket, remember when Ronald Reagan came on TV and he was like this is crack cocaine it is the most deadliest drug in America and it must be stopped and all of this and I, I, I. remember when he did that that was a commercial for crack cocaine because so many people was looking at that like what the hell is he talking about Crack cocaine? You 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 heard of crack? No, I heard of crack. You heard of crack? No, I never heard of crack. We never heard of it. Okay? So all he did was ever use that. You see, they pretend to be fighting something when really they're advertising it. Okay? That's like me saying I'm against child pornography, but I'm saying, look at this. Look at this child porn. This is wrong. This is wrong when really I'm just trying to get you to get comfortable with keep seeing this image that's what it's really about 
I want you to get comfortable seeing this image because I want to push this on you. Okay, so I want to normalize this. Okay, because if I was really against it, I wouldn't be showing it to you. Okay, you don't show people things that you're against, that you think is not good for them. Okay, you keep that away. You know, you might talk to them about it, but you don't really shove it in their face. So you got to beware of what these people are shoving in your face. They, they're constantly shoving their agendas in your face. You just got to pay attention. But, you know, that this was just an introduction to the child support video. So I'm going to play a little clip that I shot earlier. I'm um, getting into child support. This is part one. This is going to be part one. And then I'm going to do a part two. Um, and I'm going to spit that last verse to one to the two. Because I do got another verse where I'm breaking it down. So... Y'all stay tuned. Check this video out, and I I, I, I hope it helps y'all. Lipbox TV. Peace. All right, what up, what up? Welcome to Lipbox. I'm Lord I Kim. And today we're going to talk about child support. That's right. I'm going to get y'all right today. Trust me. I don't care if you if you on child support. If, if. Somebody's threatening to put you on child support or you just want to know about child support. I got you, you know? So we gonna start first, before we get to the people that's on child support and I show y'all how to get up out of that. You understand? I'm, I'm going to talk to the people that's not on child support first, okay? Because this is the easiest of them all, okay? If you're not on child support, it's very easy to not get put on child support if you're not on child support already. If someone's threatening to put you on child support, then you need to pay attention real good right now because it'll never work after this, okay? Now understand, there's two ways you're gonna get pulled into child support. Either by public assistance, because the mother's on public assistance. If she's on public assistance, it don't matter what you doing for that child. They're taking her for child support. The system is gonna take you to, to, to court for child support. The welfare system, because they want that money back that they gave her, okay? And the other way is, is if she's not on public assistance, if she's working or something, or even if she's just not working or, or, or unemployed, but just not on public assistance, then she has to go in there and, and you know, file for child support, okay? So, this is all you have to do. It's very simple. All you gotta do is remember that everything you sign is a contract. So don't go in there signing any contracts with those people, that's number one, okay? When they call you in to that first court date, that first child support court date is the only court date you ever need to go to and you're not gonna go to any more after that. Now, if it's in a real court, courthouse like if it's in a court where you could bring witnesses then make sure you bring witnesses and then you have them fill out an affidavit saying they came to court with you that day and and write a statement as to what they witnessed in the courtroom that day now a lot of these child support hearings are in these little small ass rooms and you can't even bring witnesses in there and that's how they get you because they record it but they don't give you a copy of the, the, the recording so in that type of situation what I would do and this is not legal advice this is not a uh, legal advice. Um, I'm not an attorney. You need an attorney to go get you one. This is just what I would do. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. I would go get me one of them lawyers. But the only reason I'm going to get the lawyer and I'm paying him is so he could be one of my he could be my witness because I could bring him in there. Okay, and I'm just gonna tell him, listen, I'm paying you to cut to just go in there and tell those people I don't want a contract with them. That I made my son or daughter in private and i like that matter to stay private i don't i would not like to, to join into this public fiasco y'all trying to do okay because here's the thing no party be, can come in between a contract without consent from both parties so if the state is trying to get involved with you a situation between you and the mother of your children they need consent from both parties now, if she took you to court for child support, she already gave her consent. So they need you to consent. So when they start asking you, are you the father? Say, first of all, don't ask me any questions because I don't consent to this, this meeting. 
I don't agree with anything. I, I made my son or daughter in private and do not say child because child is a fictitious entity, okay? And you're not the parent and you're not the guardian. When they say who's the parent or who's the guardian, you have to make sure you say I'm the father. Okay, because a guardian and a parent is a fictitious entity. Children are fictitious entities. Natural living souls are sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, not a parent, children, guardian. Doesn't work like that. Okay, so once you once you start playing the like I told you, it's a word game with these people. Okay? So once they start telling you, like let me give you a scenario. A situation that actually happened Before I knew what I knew You understand? I just knew something wasn't right But I didn't know what I know You understand? I'm going to help y'all In place in ways I couldn't even help myself At the time when I was going through it But I learned so much just going through it So I'm in front of the judge And the judge is like Um Next time you come to court, you got to show proof that you've been looking for a job and you got to bring proof of your finances. And I said, excuse me, how much money do you make? He said, huh? I said, how much money do you make? He said, huh? I said, that's none of my business, right? I said, well, how much money I make is none of your business. Like, who do you think you are? You understand what I'm saying? But if they tell you to do something and you do it, then that's it. So if they slide a piece of paper in your face and say, sign this, check in, I ain't signing nothing. I'm not signing anything. Don't ever sign anything. So now you bring the lawyer in there and just tell them you don't want a contract with them. There's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do. You say, I do not wish to contract with anyone in this room for any reason. And then you leave. That's it. If you got your lawyer, you tell them, yo, we out. Let's go. You heard what I said. Or, you to or tell them what I told you to tell them. And then when he tell them that, say, all right, that's it. We don't got nothing else to talk about. Let's get up out of here and leave. And there's nothing they could do. There's absolutely nothing they'll be able to do. Okay? Now, if you don't got money for a lawyer, okay, then you just got to go in there and just tell them, I do not wish to contract with you. I do not wish to contract with you they're gonna try to force you into a contract they're still gonna push the issue they're still gonna try to give you a default judgment but that's okay okay you don't want a judgment that you agreed to that default judgment you're gonna slap that down later okay but you don't want to go in there agreeing to anything you just want to tell them i do not wish to contract with anyone in here and there's nothing they can do about it i don't care what anyone tell you trust me this is tried and this this stuff I'm not See the stuff I tell y'all This is not something I just read in a book Like as y'all can see the video Of me getting arrested Like I practice what I preach I don't just talk all this shit And then get in front of these people and clear them up At the beginning I did Because I was nervous and scared So y'all gonna feel the same way Y'all gonna be nervous, y'all gonna be scared But don't clear them up Okay I really practice what I preach So the stuff I'm telling y'all These is facts Okay these is facts So just remember If someone's trying to bring you to child support Go and You can even write a letter Send a certified Matter of fact You don't know You even gotta go in there If you don't want to How about that? Got an even better one Don't even go in the court date Send them a certified mail With the with the green receipt That they got the, the, With the signature card Okay Because now Once they sign it Uh Notice the agent is notice the principal Notice the principal is notice the agent So whoever signs for that is acknowledging that they got it Okay So once I receive that you got my correspondence Then I'm not even coming to court So if your court date But you just got to make sure It got enough time to get there before the court date And you send them a certified uh, letter With an affidavit Stating who you are And how you don't agree to none of this And you're not coming in And there's nothing they could do about it I don't care what anyone tells you Okay they cannot lock you up for debt in this country. And, if, and see, the people who've been locked up for child support for not paying their child support, you didn't get locked up for not paying your child support. You got locked up for a breach of contract. You got locked up for not doing what the courts, what you agreed to do with the courts. If you never agreed, they could have never locked you up. So that's what they're locking you up for. It's not really the child support. It's because they told you, if you don't pay, we're going to throw you in jail. And you said, okay. And then you didn't pay. So you agreed to that. Okay? It's not because they had the right to. It's because you agreed to it. So stop going in there agreeing to things. Now, for the people that's on child support already, the 
You got your license. They got your passport. You can't open a goddamn bank account. You see, they try to, they, see, that's how they make drug dealers, okay? Because what's one of the easiest jobs to get for a convict, for somebody who just came out of jail, got no money, no nothing? What's the easiest job you think it is to get out here right now? Well, one of the easiest jobs, a driving job, Uber Eats, delivery, truck driver. So that's why they suspend your license. What the hell does suspending your license got to do with not paying your child support? Nothing. It's designed solely to turn you into a criminal, to, to, to shorten your options of making a decent living, an honest living, okay? So that's what that's designed to do, okay? They trying to, they want to stop you from living your best life. That's what it's, and then they take your child support, and then they take your passport so you can't flee the country and go live a better life somewhere else. Because that's what all these immigrants do. Nigga be a savage in his country, a piece of shit. A piece of shit, okay? That owe everybody and their mama. But he come to America with a clean slate. So they don't want y'all, they don't really want y'all going nowhere and getting a clean slate. You know what I'm saying? They don't want y'all to have a clean slate. They want to forever have you under the thumb of uh, racism, white supremacy. And that's just one of the ways they keep you down. So now, okay, you on child support. You in the arrears, okay? Now, there's several ways to clear the arrears. If you've been locked up, you can let them know, listen, I've been locked up for X amount of time and, and blah, 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 and... The time you've been locked up, you ain't gonna have to pay. Okay, that's 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 one way. Okay, if you've been locked up long enough, like and you, you and like for people who did, you know, 15 years, 18 years, stuff like that. When you come out, they 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 can't hold that against you. They can't. You, they, uh, I'm gonna put it up on the screen when I post this video up of the actual uh, code that you use to fight this. Okay, then you got there's another one where. If you're in poverty, if you're in poverty, and poverty I believe is under $12,000 a year. So that means if you don't got no job, if you don't work, then your arrears are never supposed to go over $500 a year. This is their laws. These, this is their laws. So if you've been in poverty for eight years, you ain't been working for eight years, then, then your child support is not supposed to be more than $40,000. Four thousand dollars. So if they, if your arrears is looking twenty, thirty, forty, then you I'm gonna put put it up on the screen too. Then there's a code for that, and and, and this is uh where you you motion to have your arrears adjusted based on your financial condition. Okay, that's that one. Then another way when you're on uh child support is you 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 it's it's like you got to file um see when when you sign if you sign that acknowledgement of paternity at the hospital see cuz that's where they get you okay stop i don't care what no anyone says stop signing men men see women they're signing their kids over and they don't even know it that's what the birth certificate is you just signing your child over to the government the minute they're born okay but the men, the men have to stop being gassed up to go in there and contract with the women as well because then they got both, they got consent from both people. So stop signing that acknowledgement of paternity. I know you want to be known as the father of the son, your son or your daughter, but that's not going to make you any more of their father than a marriage certificate is going to make you any more of somebody's husband. Okay, just just doesn't. People was getting married thousands of years ago without no marriage certificate. Okay, and then somebody came and said, "Hey, we can make money off of this." And same thing. Okay, so you gotta understand that they're supposed to when you when they presented that uh, acknowledgement of paternity to you in the hospital, they were supposed to counsel you by law. They were supposed to counsel you and let you know the consequences of signing that acknowledgement of paternity. Did anyone do that to you? They didn't. 
They just presented you with papers in the hospital and you signed them. Did you go sit down with a counselor that said your life could be ruined if you signed this? Did you sit down with a counselor that says you, you, you're going to be fully responsible and they, they, and, and they didn't do that. They're supposed to do that. I'm going to put the, uh, the, the code up there that you could use to tell them I need this child support removed because I never was counseled and I didn't agree to this. And now it's, it's, it's coercion and duress, okay? Because they didn't let you know the consequences. And if, 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 if you present me with paperwork that got some hidden terms that's not really in this paper that I'm signing, then that's misleading and that makes that contract null and void, okay? So a lot of these, 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 Child support decisions are null and void. They're null and void because they didn't follow the proper procedure. You understand? And you have to learn how to study their rules and apply them when necessary to your benefit. Okay? So I'm gonna I'm gonna attach another video at the end of this video, like a continuation, once I get around my real notes, cause all of this stuff was just off the top, but I really wanna get into how to get off of child support if you're already on child support. I wanna show you how to, how you can get bank accounts still and how to conduct your business and live your life because they're trying to stop us from living productive lives. That's all that's really about. There's no reason you're suspending someone's driver's license because they didn't pay child support. What does that have to do? What does one thing have to do with the other? What does the passport have to do with? Suppose I need to travel to make money. Suppose I need to drive to make money for my family. So now y'all gonna throw all this pressure on me and then, and then, you understand what I'm saying? Like it's a game. It's a game. They throw all this pressure on you and they wanna turn you. And they want to send you to the streets because no man in his right mind paying child support is like taking care of two people, it's especially when you don't live with the child. So if I pay you child support, if, if, if I pay my baby mother child support, right, just say whatever, I give her $600 a month. We got $800 a month, whatever, whatever it is, $400 a month. When I go pick up that child, Who's giving me money to do to take the child to the movies, to feed the child, to put some clothes on the, ch the, the, the child? And I know I'm saying child because that's just the terminology, but who's giving me money for my son or my daughter? Who's giving me money? Nobody. So I gave the mother money, and then when I came to pick up my son or my daughter, she didn't give me none of that money back to, to, to continue to help. So it's like I'm paying twice. I'm paying twice. That will break your average man in half. It will break him down. Like, how are you supposed to live your life taking care of someone else and not even have enough left over to take care of yourself? Like, come on. Like, come on now. Like, how, 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 how are you? That how are you supposed to take care of yourself? They know it's hard, if not almost impossible. Okay, unless you got a certain type of job or career. The average dude out here with a job, he can't take those type of hits. He can't, he can't take, he can't, he can't lose 20% of his income or whatever the hell they, however the hell they coming at y'all. And I tell y'all, listen, Do not pay child support. Do not. But take care of your son and or, and or your daughter. But don't never pay child support. Don't ever let nobody extort you out of your money. That's extortion. That's threat and coercion. You're threatening me, telling me if I don't give you something, what you're going to do to me? And I'm telling you the only reason they're allowed to do a lot of this stuff is because people going in and agree to it. So I'm telling you, stop going in there agreeing with these people. They're making you an offer. It's an offer. It's a contract. Go in there and tell them you don't want a contract with them. 
And that's the end of it. I know it sounds simple. I know it does. I know it'd be like, nah, I can't work that easy. It works that easy. You understand what I'm saying? It, it, it really works that easy. Believe me, trust me when I tell you. And when I get back to my files, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna pull up uh, motions that you can file with the court, you know, to, 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 to help you deal with child support. Because it's it's ridiculous. And I and I don't feel anyone should be paying uh child support. I don't believe it. I don't believe anybody should be pay child support. But I believe every man, every man should take care of his sons or his daughters. I believe that. Regardless of how you feel about the woman, regardless who she is, I don't care if she a thought pocket. I don't care if your baby mama is, a, is, is, is the biggest thought on the block. You laid down with her, you made a baby. And I personally can't understand how somebody wouldn't want to be a part of something that came from them. Like that part, I just can't understand. So let's be all the way clear. I'm not advocating not taking care of your family. Okay? I'm just saying, do it on your terms. But do it right. And be real. And be fair. And be realistic. Understand, but don't have no chick trying to throw you under pressure and extort you because you ain't moving the way she wants you to move. You understand? So she gonna use the system and try to manipulate you into moving the way she wants you to move. And I'm telling you, after watching this video, a chick take you to court for child support. You go in there and say, "I don't want a contract." She'll be, she'll be like, "I'm sorry, I didn't mean to," cause you know, like, like she ain't gonna get anything. She ain't gonna get nothing. And she gonna be sick. She gonna be sick. Like, damn, like, like, like I should tell my baby mother, God. But then I took care of my kids. She should just say that shit just to, just to, cause she thought it was gonna move me. Go on, go to child support. And I, and, and I put my kids through private school, okay? I took my kids to school every day of their life and picked them up, every day of their life. Until they got old enough to do it themselves. And she still wanted to threaten to take me to court for child support. You know why she never did it? Because she knew she wasn't going to get nothing. Because she, she she lived with me and she seen the way I study. And she know. <laughs> and she seen me beat. She seen me tear the system up several times. Okay. So she knew not to play with me. Okay. Because I used to tell her, you want to see what nothing looks like? I'll show you nothing. Okay. I'll show you what nothing looks like. So, and she knew, she knew she couldn't get nothing from me. She knew she couldn't make them people tell me to give her nothing. Cause she know I don't move like that. Those, pe those people don't move me like that. And I don't care about no judgment of what they say. And she knows that. She knows that. And she knows I know how to move money. She knows that. So at the end of the day, you're not gonna get nothing from me. You're not gonna get nothing from me, but a hard time in court. That's it. There's nothing, to, there's nothing easy about me in court. And y'all need to be the same way. Stop making it easy for them. You know, y'all just going in there just agreeing to anything. Oh, uh, listen, um, you're going to have to go to this program and, and you're going to have to show me. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I understand, your honor. Shut up. Y'all, man, y'all make me so sick. Y'all be so tough on the streets and getting them courtrooms. And I be, I swear to God, I be sitting down there sometime like, yo. Yo, y'all real soft in court. Y'all real soft in court. And that, that needs to change. Because y'all super tough out here. Y'all kill a nigga for just looking at you wrong out here. Talking about you crazy. But the judge will ruin your life. And you ain't got shit to say. You ain't going to do shit to him. You ain't going to do nothing. But the nigga out here talk about you and you ready to kill him. Court system ruins your life. And you ain't going to do nothing about it. But talk about, man, that's fucked up, man. System is fucked up, man. Fucked up, man. But if I talk about you, you ain't gonna say that's fucked up. You go, oh, kill that nigga. Who he think he talking to? Or if I mess your life up, you gonna be, oh, the nigga fuck my life up. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, oh. Come on now. But stay tuned, because I got something to do real quick. So I'm gonna, um, like I said, I'm gonna put up some more stuff in a few and add on to this video. And, and get y'all links and stuff like that where y'all could go to for for um ask you to to actually download 
these uh motions because I'm gonna put the motions up. Like, and it's already like the motions I'm gonna put up, it's 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 just cut and paste. Put your name in there, put your address in there, and, and in certain sections you're gonna have to put your own information because what's there may not apply to your exact situation. But for the most part it will. But you just got to put your own story in there. You got to create your own affidavit based on your facts. And you mail it in. And that's it. And you take it from there. And remember, every time those people try to correspond with you or talk to you via telephone, you tell them ain't nothing to talk about. Send it to me in writing. Do everything in writing. Don't ever try to resolve issues with these people over the phone. Okay, or with a or just with a regular conversation, do everything in writing. And when you talk to them, only reiterate what you sent them in writing. Don't stray off of that. They call it standing on your square. Okay, they're gonna try to throw you this way, throw you that way, throw and say this, and just stick to the script. I used to always tell people that just stick to the script. The movie's already written. Just stick to the script. And you'll be fine. I'll be back. It's lit Oh, you be lit? Lit box. When I'm turned up, it go down. You know how I get, you know how I get. You know I'm legit, you know I'm legit. You know I be lit, you know I be lit. And I'm on a mission to hit every city. When you see me, get with me. It's lit Lit box TV. It's lit.